Hello all, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. You can see it all. And the idea for this came from about three different videos I watched, or from Pinterest. Um, I've seen some lovely cards on there and I thought, oh I like all them. And I put it all together as one. Now the stamps that I'm using is Pretty Perennials. And I'm using quite a few of these stamps. And for the sentiment I've got from Art Gallery, and I'm just using congratulations. Uh, the cardstock is a square five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Um, my daughter got me these instead of my usual cardstock, which she couldn't get, so she got me these ones. So I'm using them. And then I've got two pieces of white at five by five. I'll keep them because we're gonna. I also did the inside, as you can see. So I'm using punches. I've got the flower punch. This is now retiring, the little small mini flower. I've got the retired leaf punch. Um I use bronze on this one, but I've got none of that left. Well, not a big enough bit for a circle, so I'm going to use gold this time. So I've cut myself an oval, which I think is the third and second oval out of that. And I've also cut myself some strips for this decorative bits I've got here in gold. So that's the only change, I'm just doing gold instead of bronze. So I've only got scraps of that, or oh, what I could find, I could only find scraps. I bet if I really looked I'd find some more. So, let's get started. Right. To begin with, let's get a piece of scrap paper because we're going to stamp off. And we're using a lot of neutral colours plus Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape and Old Olive. So first of all we've got Smoky Slate and the Big Flower. I've got to keep looking at this to see what I've done. And we're going to stamp one Smoky Slate Flower there. And one Smoky soap flower there. That's all I've done. And did I put one inside? I did. So I'll bring the inside bit and might as well do that while we're at it. And put a smoky slate flower there. Like that. That's all our smoky slate bits. Just try and make room, make my card stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Now we're going to use crumb cake and with our four petaled flower we're going to pop three of these. We're going to do like that, especially that way. We're going to do one there. One there, and one whole one there, and this one has one there. All right, and then we've got a mini flower. Uh, let me see if I can see it. What do I do? Yeah, this mini flower. No, we'll keep that, keep that open, because we need soft suede next. Nope. Early Expresso next. Right. With Early Expresso and this flower with all the lines on it, I'm going to pop some of them 
one goes there, one down here, and one there. Can't see where I put more. Yeah, that's it. So that's that one. And then with all the little dot ones, let me see, that one, we're going to add some of these. One there, one there. Doing it a little bit different. Right, that's that. Oh. We need that for the sentiment. I shall do that. Bring in our scrapper card. Um, stamp our congratulations. Oh, I'm going to stamp that in the middle because I'm actually going to use a die to cut that out. So that's that stamped. We can put this away. And we'll bring in soft suede. What did I do in soft suede? Uh, these flowers, little tiny flowers, and I'm just stamping them just around the edges. Whoops, I went a bit close there. Like that. Let's put one there. And that'll do. Mm. What's this soft suede? Oh. All right, we need Highland Heather for next. Got to do some soft suede ones, but we'll do that in a minute. Right, with this centerpiece, we're going to put purple there, purple island heather there, there, and then with the dots ones, where is it here? Just clearing off the we're going to put them in the middle of these. Like that. And we need that to go in the middle of that one and the dot one go in the middle of that one. Right, while we've still got that out with some scrap white I've got here we are going to stamp a Highland Heather Big Flower. And a Highland Heather smaller flower like that. And that's it for that. They need cut now, so we'll put them over there. And I've got to add some more to this, so clean that off. Oh no, I'm just, oh no, wrong colour, never mind. Close this up. Bring in soft suede again. And just add some of these little flowers in here. Like that, that'll do that one. Um, 
and now what we need to do is get our blending brush I'm going to get the green out so we need that and the brown out and we're going to with crumb cake go all over our flowers with crumb cake So much rattling on this table, that's annoying me. I thought it was me. Big shot resting against them up, but it's not. Right. I'm only going round in not doing this bit but here because that's going to be covered up. Right, that's how I want that. And we'll also go round the inside one as well. Just round the edges. over the flowers oh look I'm smudging it See if I can get that big smudge off. I'll turn it down a bit, one or the other. Made a bit of difference. All it done is took my crumb cake off. I'll leave it like that. So yeah, we don't need that no more. All right, that's that lot done. Now we have to get on with our other. Um, the decorations. Right, I've got, I'll do this bit, got this and I'll need three flowers but I don't want white flowers. So what I did, again I just run this over just enough to punch out three flowers And then we punch out our flowers here. One, two, three. Just 
turn them all over and then with them little dots one we did it in purple so yeah. get rid of the crumb cake and bring back Highland Heather and we just popped or I just popped them in the middle like that and then I went and wheeled it around my ink just to give the edges a little bit of colour on them and get covered in ink this is not a quick and easy card to make but it's worth it in the end I think There's our three little flowers. And get something with a blunt end, push it in the middle, just to give it a bit of dimension. And then we have our three pretty flowers. Put them to one side. Next we want to do the leaves and this is where the old olive comes in and we do the exact same just cover the card with old olive and it's got pep. Let's turn this around. That's it. Just making sure I've not got ink on me. Now I don't want this to be too smooth because remember it's for leaves and leaves aren't really smooth. So I don't mind having dark and light batches everywhere. In fact that's quite nice. <laughs> so get rid of that. Bring in our leaf punch. I do have one and a half leaves left over from last time. Oh no they're not. They're old olive cards then once. So I'll cut punch out four. Rubbish. And then we just twist with our tweezers go down the centre of the leaf and twist again just to give it dimension I used to just fold them in half and then I watched um, Artful Stamping do this Ruth her name is I thought, oh, that's such a good idea. I had to watch it a few times to figure out how she did it. Because I'm thick. If you haven't seen Ruth Art for Stamping, you should go over. She does some beautiful one-page wonders. Gorgeous. They're like pictures 
and then she chops them up to make cards. I couldn't chop them up. Right, that's my leaves done. What else have I got to do? Um, oh, I just remembered I had these to do. Right, I, I'll put them there. With our... What did I do inside them? Yeah, that one and that one in soft suede. So, round one, like that, and then the dots on there, like that. And I think we've now got everything stamped, I hope. So we're bringing the die cutting machine and start die cutting these out. There's only three things. One. Need the dies. So need that one. I'll find the right way now. Yes, found it. Tape it down so it doesn't move, and then this one also. Hmm. That was a bit of luck, found that first time. Take that down. Second flower. Oh, no, I need that for the Do I have to use this big one? I do. to do it like that because I might cut that bit off There's my sentiment. All right, we'll finish with that. All right, let's get all these bits together. All right, I've got my card base. I've got my front and my inside. Oh, I never told you about this. A bit of vellum. A square piece of vellum, which is three, three inches by two and three eighths. So it's three inches by two and three eighths. And what I do with this is I pop that like that, just around the oval. So that bit's dull. And then, then you've got your shiny bit. So let's make 
make sure it's on there straight and then we'll glue that on there and a bit of glue just in the middle there and remember you won't see it when the flowers when the um, yeah flowers are on so I'm just going to place glue where the oval is and pop that in the middle like that now these bits I am going to put under there and cut them to two inches this one's two inches and I just want it coming out there and then I've got a thicker bit I don't want that to be as much so this will be about one and a half inches one and three quarters I think this is an eighth this bit here is an eighth of an inch all this is is for extra de decoration nothing more Right, and we'll put this bit up here. Now just in case the flower doesn't hide that, I'll take that off. And then with the thick bit, we'll do the same. So now, I'm trying to put the lid on my glue and it's not going on. I want some dimensionals. And we want our flower. And we're going to put on three. But I'm not putting them too close to the edge. because we've got to get leaves and that one I'm only going to put one on so this one I'm going to place like that there and then this one down there I want it a bit closer that's it like that. I'm going to get our leaves and we're going to glue these. Just glue the stem. I'm going to put one there. These leaves that's not as dark as the other one was one there and one cut that off one there like these ones I actually cut them off And added a darker leaf so put that on. 
join it so it's closer together. And pop that in there. And I have another set of two which I'm just going to push together and glue them down like that. And these two can go in here. my flowers. One of them there. Where's the other one? Leave that there and put this there. There was too much of that stalk showing, but I like that, like that. And then my congratulations, what I said about chopping this little bit off. It's because we're going to put it under there, like that. So if I cut, because you can't see that, I am going to put that underneath there, on dimensionals, and it'll be mini. There we are. So all we've got to do now is put this on our card base. Straight and this, and pop this one inside. Add some gems. I have got some purple. I'll mix. Don't want to mix these up because some are brown and some are purple. This is the purple ones.
and attach themselves to the packet. Right. in the centre of that one start again Then what did I do? Added three to the outside. One, two, I don't use these very often, can you tell? Oh no, I put more than three. There you are, that'll do. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.